okay good morning guys i haven't been live in a while i don't have no sun sunrise this morning because the sunrise has been obscured for a while i think i park but the sunrise has been obscured for the last couple of weeks for a um, few weeks so i don't really been much to see except just gray clouds but I'm going live this morning because I want to talk about something and, and this is the medium which I use to, to speak on things which are not personal and private. Um, in anticipation of our governing body, our members of our governing body meeting with people from the entertainment industry to discuss reopening of the industry. Um, I'm not interested in meeting with them, but I will share my my my, my suggestions. Um, first of all, I see no reason why weddings, funerals, and church services, graduation stuff like that can't um, can't be allowed by the same. By the same method, we allow people to fly to the country. By the same method, we allow people to gather 200 and odd people to get on a flight and sit in a potential petri dish and fly together and enter the country and then disperse and, and, and um, move around among us. By that same method and process, I see no reason why we can't allow weddings funerals, church services, graduations. So immediately, those could be allowed. Why not have people test? If they can test and jump on a flight, 15 minute test, why not? Why not have testing outside of the church, outside of, you know, the event? And that is immediately for weddings, funerals, churches. These are these are the events which define people's lives these are the, the, the milestone events which give people hope which motivate people to live so if it is not our intention to kill that hope and to demotivate people from wanting to live then we should be pushing to open those to allow those I see no reason, especially when it has been proven that those can be had. When, when you see Anthony Johnson get a good send-off. If Anthony Johnson can get a good send-off, why my daughter friend Shanice's grandmother couldn't get a good send-off too? Why family can't gather to console each other in their time of bereavement? And then do the one last symbolic move that gives them closure which is to cry on each other and say goodbye to their matriarch to their patriarch testing can be put in place the quick test the same thing that you do when you fly if it's good enough for JFK if it's good enough for MIA if it's good enough for Heathrow and Gatwick, even when the same Ministry of Health, when the same Ministry of Health and the media goes out of their way to convince us that the UK is a festering petri dish, and then bam, they're allowed to fly and come here. I think we can go to a wedding. I think that two people will say they love each other and want to be together forever and they want to start it now because they're anxious, can get married with all their loved ones and close friends' presence. I see no reason why that should be able to happen. And a funeral, for goodness sakes, 200 and odd people can fly together. I think 100 people can gather and, and, and say goodbye. Immediate recommendations. Long-term recommendation, stop dismissing everything that doesn't fit with the mainstream narrative. 
and stop taking instructions from people outside of those who employ you. Remember now, politicians are our employees. I don't care what kind of other alliances they form, but the immediate employees are us. So if we say, Minister, me here say ever make thing work. And remember, this is not Joe Blood on the road. And um, Dr. Michael Abrams and a group of his colleagues have been appealing to the Ministry of Health and relevant personnel to allow them to do, to allow them to, to, to examine um, ivermectin as an alternative. And this would be something like you take a farmer to prevent and to cure. And other people have sung its praises, but we are allowing mainstream and international media to guide our narrative. Now that should never be allowed to happen. We should have the matzi, we should have the balls to say, let me examine this for myself. That's long term. Medium term, cut out the foolishness with the, with the, with the curfew. If you go and have a curfew and say you lock off night, lock off night, but you can't say me lock off night um Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but Saturday me lock off evening and then Sunday, you know what? Let me just lock off the day. This makes no sense and it makes you look neurotic. That's the only thing it does. It makes you look neurotic and it makes people unwilling to entertain you. Everybody with common sense don't want to entertain you because you sound like idiots. Because what can somebody spread on Sunday afternoon that they can't spread on Monday evening? So, these, these are my arguments. Now, I know that <laughs> it's a very common and easy thing to say this person um chat too much have too many opinions and it's e even easier to cut and splice and change the tone because our people are not interested in finding facts for themselves our people don't do no kind of fact checking and they don't do think either. So even if they see something that doesn't make sense, as long as somebody's instructed them to think in a particular way about that thing, they will accept what that person tell them. And it doesn't even have to be somebody who them regard as credible. It can just be one so-called blogger. Utter and complete rubbish, but me need enough to start thinking for yourself and start demand that the people who you employ to look after your business think too. It's the least they can do. Remember, a politician can direct you from where they sit because they eat from the public purse. They are paid from the public purse and the public purse is contributed to by regular people who then have to come up with a way to scrounge up money to put into the public purse. It comes from the pockets of poor people and the interests of the population. That's where the money comes from. There is no money that goes into public purse because anybody from foreign like Andrew Willis, nobody not care. If he steps out of that seat tomorrow and somebody else come, the person who comes is who they will deal with. This is not personal to him. It's a job. He's employed to us. So demanding accountability for the performance of that job is not a political thing. It is not a political thing. So what I want is that first things first stop criminalize gathering because you can't just paint all gathering with a broad brush and just criminalize it like that especially when the rules don't apply to you guys especially when you are gathering especially when police tell me say them go for lock off a party and a minister say you can't lock off this 
bad word, bad word, bad word, bad word. See, me not cause no bad word. The minister cause the bad word. You can't look up. You know, say, I'm the minister. I am the clot, 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 clot minister. So if you can't get a brother, why people out the road can't get her too? You're not gathering to make money. You're gathering for props. You're gathering for props and enjoyment only. This is when entertainment is in for enjoyment because you guys don't earn from it. And so, in anticipation for, in anticipation of politicians meeting with people from the entertainment industry, I want to remind the public and I want to remind us too that we are a unit. And regardless of our differences of opinion, we are still a unit. Our ideas, our ideology of what the process of reopening should be might differ, but our desire for the outcome is the same. We want the same thing. Regardless if it's an artist where you like or not, they want the same thing. So we should not allow these leeches to pit us against each other. Do not allow them to drive a wedge between us. My co-workers who are going to meet, who have been meeting and are going to meet with them to come up with ways to reopen or to give them a, a, a PR opportunity because I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not fancy the way oh, the Prime Minister is a PR junkie. He's an attention and, and a promotion junkie. I'm not fancy it. I mean, I don't want to see nobody use the entertainer them for that. We've seen it with the election. Say, whenever they want political mileage, when they want points, because this guy, the pan one, never ending campaign trail. Everything is about campaigning. Everything is about positioning and preening. preening. Everything is about him being a peacock and spreading in teal. So, I want to make it clear. So when you guys see them come out and say, and they meet with entertainer, just like when the artist them do dub plate. Don't blame the artist. It have nothing to do with the artist. Me come out against dub plate, but I have no problem with the artist them do the dub plate. You come to them and, and, and buy a dub, them sell your dub. That's the business they're in. It is the, in, the, the intention of the person who, who commissions that that bothers me, not the artist selling dub. So, I want to forget that clear this time around. So when them come with half big, half our schemes, if an artist make a recommendation based on freedom understanding, based on their process, it is with good intention, it is with the intention of returning the industry to full viability. Nothing else. No artist no out here will have no ulterior motive or want to see the industry collapse. So make we first and foremost don't argue with each other. Make we not war one another. We are not each other enemy. They are going to make recommendations based upon their understanding, based upon what they think best for the industry. But you know what caused me to be very, um, very suspicious of these meetings? I know they now meet with the people who are hit the hardest by this. Inviting Tanya Stevens to a meeting. I'm not an active player in this industry. I don't do nothing here, so. In, in fact, I've, I've been cursed out for being antisocial, for thinking I'm better than, and none of that is true, but, but the reality is, and it's a fact, that I'm not an active player. So I'm the hardest hit by local. If you open the local industry, it's not going to change my life, none talk, because I exist outside of here. And this is not bragging. I'm not bragging. I work. I go to work. I come home from work. That's it. It's a job. These are the stating of the facts. So me, I don't want key player. Me can only recommend based on observation. Me can only recommend based on opinion. The key players will get hit hardest, will not be invited. You know why? Why they won't be invited? They don't have as many followers on, on, on um, social media. And when they speak, I don't have the most followers, but when I speak, people listen and look and pay attention. So I understand that it looks good to say these are the main dissenters. And see, so we, so we sit with them here. Yeah? 
Nobody now use me for positioning. Nobody now use me for position. And I understand this. Me not talk because I want to be seen or because I want a friend. Me not want no friend. Me not shot of friends. Me not talk because I want mileage from a personal self. Oh no, no, see me I promote nothing. What me I sell? Me barely promote my music. I want what's best for the collective. That's the only thing I ever want. That's the only thing I will ever want. I want what's best for the collective. And what's best for the collective is finding out who hard is it and talk to them and see if you can return them to earning as soon as possible. You can't go to the people them who earn outside go ask them for recommendations for inside. That's the first thing. So if... You never see me for one show. You never see me promote a show. You never see me do, me not do nothing. So I know my recommendation you want. I know my recommendation you want. I know my recommendation you want. I know ask me and ask you. You don't want a recommendation from me. You want me to stop talk. And one easy way to get me to stop talk is to destroy my credibility in front of the people I want to talk to. And that's why I say no. I'm not interested. But me definitely not going to allow you to say, See, me invite them and they never come. I'm going to give them a recommendation the same way. So that can send by email. We don't need a meeting for that. I can make a bullet list. And send. And that is all I need. I don't want to talk to nobody. It's time for talking gone. The time for talking was when I run out wrong and strong with, the, uh, with all of the arrogance. The time for talking was when I call people don'ts. The time for talking was when I followers then run out and say crack it and I never, never command them for retract that. Them there did the time for talking. Time for talking gone. You, one year and add after destroying people's entire economies. No. I went on no one talk. Free up wedding. Free up funeral. Free up church. There's no reason. And Jennifer, I don't mean you argue. Because you miss the cynicism. In a, me, in a me comment because you miss my dark sense of humor and you misinterpret it I want wedding for free up my best friend a wedding no. funeral I see no reason why funeral can't keep I start with that and I go in with that I don't see no reason why church can't keep and I don't know how I feel about church but if church gives hope to the people who me love I would never deprive them of that. Me drive my mother to church. Me walk go in a store and buy some cute little dress when she could have, when she did still mobile and bring her to church. Me and my daughter every Sunday. Check her purse and make sure some money in the fair collection. That's how I make she happy and give her hope. I would never take that from her. I don't want it, but that doesn't mean you can't have it. So open church. Open church, make, allow the people them to put protocol in place. I mean, then do testing out the front. You got to have a big event, I mean, then do testing. I mean, then do testing. This will also give you a more accurate database than the one you have because the one you have is not accurate. And this will allow the community an opportunity to actually govern itself as far as protecting each other from each other. Because you don't know the people in the community as well as the people from church do. So if them are the testing outside of the church, there will be an actual database of people who have the thing. And the church does visits and the church brings food for shutins. So it will be very easy for them to use the already existing system that they have to say, brother Mark, sister Patsy, you have the virus, stay home. We are bringing you breakfast. Them take turns and them are going to bring breakfast, lunch and dinner. So that person does not have to come out and, and expose the community. Them drop it on the veranda. And when they're gone, person come out 
take up them thing and go back in. If they can't move, mask up yourself and protocol up yourself. With the, dose yourself in alcohol from 8 to 2 and all of them and go in and give them them food and come out back. And go your yard. Sanitize and go and go score. So that the community not get exposed to them trying to survive and hiding it because now we have criminalized it to the point that people don't want anybody to know if they have it. We don't learn nothing, you know. We don't learn nothing. So we criminalize abortion and people start perform abortion for themselves. Put them self at risk baby still dead them sometimes dead too we don't learn nothing we don't learn nothing we've been doing this since prohibition from back in the bootlegging days everything that you resist persists so if you make it illegal to have parties you push parties underground make it make it impossible for you to regulate those parties and there's no way you can police the place good enough for find all of them so free up a thing Give the people them the protocol and allow them to use it and allow it for work. Yeah? Put testing. The bigger party them can 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 keep. Put testing out the front. If somebody willing for pay, 20 and 30 grand going out on party, <laughs> for goodness sake. Them have less party, which means then can put testing out the front. Again, everybody will you miss. When I go to church, you catch my party. Again, you have a bigger database. Again, you have a more accurate database of people we have. Because you have to register them same place. If they have corona, no, you know. No, you know. So, these are my recommendations. First of all, don't forget the part when I say free up Dr. Abrams and his colleagues. I make them go do proper vetting of ivermectin. I mean, it's already been vetted all over by credible and celebrated medical practitioners but do no one not just believe what people say do your own and make your own people them do the testing on it if people are using it for prevention and cure and sing praises allow that to be at least an alternative that would facilitate mainstream opening that would facilitate mainstream opening it if it prevent and cure or prevent and treat and again I go caution on our watch do not allow anybody and uh, Uno not joining to criminalize the artists them and the players of instruments and the music industry practitioners regardless of which facet of entertainment they come from right not criminalize people because they might try to forget them but it's not with foolishness i say people selfish people not selfish for one go work people not selfish for one go work people not selfish for one. entertainment is only entertainment for you the audience it's not entertainment for us it's work we go work just like how you go work so stop criminalize people stop Healing it and ostracize people and stop. Don't play them and don't cry them and because they want to work. They want to work. And whatever solu solutions they suggest, whether it makes sense to you or not, is insignificant. The fact is, they suggest that because they think, they genuinely, honestly think, is a good way back to recovery of the industry. So nobody would no, no, nobody can criminalize the people them just because they might try to get their industry open. That's what everybody I try to do. That's what everybody I try to do. And open the wedding them. Make people get married. Listen to me. Me separated. I'm, I'm not a fan of weddings, but that not means that nobody else can get married. Make people get married. When me get married, did it feel good to me? Me they think I the best thing. Because me the thing say me and my best friend I got to do this life thing. And for the time when it worked, it worked. I'm not one of them people that will come and tell them I'm done with marriage. Me the people I'm going to get married for fuck's sake. Me the people I'm going to get married. I make them invite them family. Make them take picture. 
put some testing out of front. His mother willing to spend $2 million for the wedding. For God's sake, they will spend 50 grand pounds on tests. They will spend 100 grand pounds on They will add another 500,000 to some tests. They will budget the $2 million so that testing in there. Hello, church people. You know church rich? Church with tests. Church building fund can more and pay for tests. And that save out of the public purse because you don't have to pay for that. Give them the option. Say, so, well, if you want to keep church, you go have to have testing out of front. You know how much nurse go to church? You know how much doctor go to church? Make them test. You nobody know, have to pay them. They more volunteer their service. And the people them in the church community we can afford the testing wouldn't even allow the church to pay for it out of them pocket them would have take up one special collection for pay for the test and it wouldn't cost jamaican poor people nothing out of them tax so allow the community to protect itself to check itself put power back in their hand you keep trying to regulate everybody you treat keep trying to instruct people with this condescending little ear and this arrogance we have it's not working and you keep doing it that is that is the definition of madness and nobody eager enough is so big put the power back in the people in hand allow people to be a part of the process this are how you're going to be able to get back to normalcy and look like you have sense because right now the consensus on the street is you know no sense. That is not here with me, even if me agree with it. But generally speaking, even your people not think you have no sense. How many know? Then tell me. Then I'll tell you. But then tell the rest of we. In the discussions that we have amongst each other, <laughs> it, is, it has been concluded that he's a madman. That he's a dictator. Your own people them say he's a dictator. So, change that. Change that by changing your modus operandi, first of all. Now come out with that. Now look at something where I try to look strong. You just look wrong and strong. And when you're wrong and strong, it means you run out wrong. And I enforce it with bruteness. And that no work. That no work. You know by now, say it no work, but you keep doing it. People can test at the front of the church and then can go in with their mask. And they can sanitize right at the door when they go in. And you can put the heat test if you want. But if they go do one poke nose test, they don't need the heat test, do they? Make it people and test. The same test. The same test that you recognize and accept for people flying in so this is not like me i ask you for do something different you are already doing this the same test no difference don't just tell yourself to them people who are going to sit down at the church them 50 people eh? I fly them, I fly go a heaven. Tell yourself that if you make you feel better because you, you don't have a problem with playing. Tell yourself to so the people them where I go sit down in the wedding, them I fly towards love. And the graduation, them I fly towards a productive life as an adult. There are ways to do this differently. But for you to arrive at that, you have to actually be open. And you've not been open. You've not been open. People have been trying. People have been trying. And when I say people, I not talk about me. Because I know that some of ears already have one filter. Some of your ears have one filter. When me talk. I don't know if it's a filter or it's just a valve, valve or lock. So I'm not talking about me. There are many other people here talking. We talk in many different kinds of voices than mine. We talk with different vocabulary than mine.
So, change attitude. Change attitude. Stop act like say. You are the boss of everybody. You are not the boss of everybody. Everybody is the boss of you. Hmm. Anyways, never do if you get into. I'm going to do it now. Car. Instagram, I know me dear. Normal life. Just one means, um, a method of communication when we use sometimes. And I'm going like this, I'm going now. Um, my recommendations, I go, I go get sent to them. If they want to consider it, then consider it. If they don't want to consider it, then they don't consider it. They make a difference. Then I go just continue to look like what they've been looking. And I will send it. To the point and concise, so they don't have to do too much reading. Cause I mean, I think they want to. And that's it. Go about business. Them go about them business. Hopefully, they allow people to go back to earning. And you know, stop say artists and, and music industry practitioners are being selfish when they want their industry to open. Because entertainment is only entertainment for you guys. It's work for us. Okay? It's work. It's employment. It's sending people to school. It's paying mortgage. It's paying care payment. It's buying gas put in a tank. It's continuing life. And do remember that even though our industry now keep the people more depend upon, we still live. Still alive. So your people still need education. And education has become increasingly expensive over the last year and odd. Because you have to pay the school them and then still find some money to look after your pit in your yard, which costs. And then still find one gadget which you never did have to buy before, which costs. And now you have to pay higher bills. You have to pay the same school fee, you know. But now you have to pay higher bills because somebody's home all day, whereas the house used to get a rest. You now beat people bad. You beat people across the head. And then I tell them not to cry. Stop that shit. A craziness. Craziness. Anyways, may I cut? You know, have a great day. I may see you know, on the other side of all of this madness.